What up, YouTube? Doug here, TWT Bulls. Oh, yeah, I'm here with the Diego and Paloma puppies. And we have our little girl Ruby in here with me. But, um, man, I'm going to address one of the number one questions, and that is pricing. Pricing on French Bulldogs and pricing on our French Bulldogs. And you guys know we call ourselves Not Your Average Frenchie. And we do that for a reason. And, uh, you know, one of the reasons is we're more concerned about just the overall size and build health and temperament of the, the, the dogs and not so much the uh, color trends. And, uh, oh, here's Ruby. <laughs> hey, Ruby, come look at these puppies, Ruby. But, so anyways, what I found, when I decided to get into the Frenchies, you know, the AKC show and what is generally accepted in the AKC show ring, or what is, is it's brindles, creams, fawns, and piebalds. Um, so I was originally thinking to get all brindles and creams and just have the craziest structure and that's all I care about. However, when I did my research, I found that blues and chocolates and tan points and merles have been around long enough where you could get real quality size and structure in those dogs. And uh, I liked what I saw. They had just been around long enough to have that consistency. But that's a reason that, you know, when I did my research, a lot of people are rushing to get uh, fluffies, the long hair, and Isabella, and pink, and all these new trends. And even if a stud looks amazing that has that, he's not going to have years and years and years and generations and generations and generations behind him of consistency like your standard colors or colors that have been around longer will have. So you start getting into more like the bully, exotic bully world where you just lose that consistency and you can breed to a stud that looks amazing but get the longer skinnier legs, the longer muzzles, the longer back, you know, these tall, funny looking ears, just things you don't want. So, you know, as far as our program goes, we value the build and not the uh, color or what color it carries. So that doesn't affect our pricing at all. It really doesn't. And that doesn't affect how we put our breedings together. So that's one aspect of pricing. Another one is, is like I said, doing your research. So like when we fell in love with the mom behind Winston and her bloodlines, which are all blues and blue tries, and then the dad, Gaston, who's a little black and tan, you know, we fell in love with those bloodlines and we put a deposit on Winston like the day he was born because we had done our research on the breeder, the kind of dogs he produces, the parents, the dogs behind him. So we knew that's what we wanted. And typically with these high quality breeding dogs, they get more expensive as they age. So it's very valuable to me. It was on all the dogs I've researched like Bunny, like Winston, like putting a deposit on them early on was the way to do it. Because if you wait till they're older, they're either going to be sold out or they're going to cost way more. So that's why on our litters, you know, when a litter is born, we have a set price and all the breeding quality pups from that litter are the same price. And we just take deposits first come first serve from the day they're born. So a lot of people, even friends of mine, were like thinking they wanted in on this Diego and Paloma litter, but they hesitated. Well, I want to see this. I want to see that. I want to see them older. And by the time they were two weeks old, they were all sold out. So now I know the people that really trusted in Diego and trusted in our program, they're going to be loving the pups they got. And I'm real happy because they trusted it from day one. You know, the day they were born, when you don't know much, <clears throat> they trusted us to put a deposit on these pups, which is awesome. So... I think that's super cool and that's why we do it like that. If I were to wait till these puppies were like 12 weeks old to put them for sale, then they would sell for a lot more money. But it's just, it's more work and you know, I don't like trying to be too much of a salesman. I like showing what we have and you know, people that recognize the quality will put deposits on them. So all the people that were asking, that's why I brought little Ruby in here because Ruby is gonna be our next breeding. And Ruby's a black brindle who carries cream, and we're going to breed her to an AKC cream stud. So I'm expecting to get a lot of creams and brindles who carry cream. But they're all going to be very muscular, very big-headed, beautiful rope. Ooh, man. <laughs> a lot of guys with these Frenchies started going to bully shows and showing their Frenchies in these bully registries. But I'm telling you, there's nothing like the AKC champion lines. You know, you can't really compare them to some of these other registries. So this uh, dog, you know, Ruby's dad was an AKC champion. Come on. And the dog we're breeding her to 
has those AKC Champion show lines. So that's gonna be the next litter. But, so it's the little things that we look for over color. It's the really tight feet. It's the really perfect rear with the no tail, the round cubby ears, the wrinkle on the face, the overall short legs, short back, muscular of the dog. You know, it's little things like that that uh, we know with the stud we're using, we can get very consistently. So that's why we're doing that. So a lot of people would take a dog like Ruby and say, oh, I'm gonna breed it to an Isabella Fluffy and create all carriers because they sell for more money and I can add that to my lines. But what they don't realize is you're also losing the consistency and the build of the dog. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that we never wanna have happen here. Look at the way she's built. I mean, <laughs> Ruby, I think, you know, when people see her, when you're like out walking her around, she looks like a male. because She has a really big head. Listen to her snorting when you're petting her. Beautiful wide face, beautiful rope on her face. Yeah, my dad loves a short litter. So what features do you like the most? What do you look for in your Frenchies? Put them on the spot. What do you like? What features? Oh, I just, to me, just a wide head and a short ears. Yeah, the short little rounded ears. And the tight body. Yeah. Rear. Yep. Don't really care about the tail or not. If they have a tail or not, it doesn't matter to me. See, I, I like the no tail. Yeah, you like the no tail, but I just like the level dog. Yeah, the good top line is big. I like the, the thick leg bones, too. The biggest thing to me I like is the little ears. That's funny. It's funny. So everyone has little features they're going to hone in on. But I know Ruby's pups, they're going to be quality, right? Uh, the stud we're using, I'm going to get some videos of them together when the time comes and we do the breeding. Yeah, he's a cream stud. He's, he's like got a monster head, a really big, short yeah. back, huge head. I mean, they're going to be beasts. He's compact. Yeah. Whoever gets in on this ruby breeding that's up next, oh boy, they're going to be nice. So we're... Uh, it's probably the most show log line we have. Right yeah, there. like the real AKC show line. Yeah, AKC Rubius. show line. Yeah. The most of all our dogs. The way, she, yeah, the way she moves, very AKC oh, show line. Yeah. But the stud's nice. I mean, he's... About the same height and compactness as Diego with yeah. a monster head. Big head. Huge head. Flat, flat face. A nice rope on the face. I love studying little Frenchy face ropes. I don't know why. It's just hilarious to me. I like seeing how their, uh, how their uh, face ropes look. I love it. Look at these little pups. So how old are these pups now, Dad? They're... Uh, they actually turn six... No, five weeks. Yeah, they'll be five weeks Monday. this week. Yeah, so they're about Monday. to be... As I'm filming this, they're a one day short of five. One day weeks. short of five weeks at the time I'm filming this. <laughs> Crazy little pups! I love the way they're built. I mean, I'm so happy for the people that uh, locked in on their pups early. I know they're going to be totally real happy. Weaned, yeah, totally weaned off of Paloma. Already eaten dry food. I mean, advanced, advanced, healthy little pups. I'm loving these Frenchie pups. Loving them. I, I think they're awesome. That's a little girl. Little girl that's going to be named Simone. There's the, the tiny little compact boy. So you can see, you know, within the litter, you'll get a little bit, you know, one might have a little thicker bone, one might have a little shorter back, but it's all relative. I mean, they're all close to the same size. They're cute, man, they're cute. This is the little boy that's, uh, you know, staying in our city. He looks just like another little Diego. So I'll be able to have them come visit and get a lot of updates with him out with his dad and stuff, which I think is cool. But uh, yeah, they're awesome. I'm, I'm loving these pups. I'm loving everything about them. They're really progressing. We really haven't had, you know, with the mom, with the puppies, any issues with this litter at all. I mean, just healthy, awesome pups. Look at them playing with the toy. Shout out to my mom. She brought them home this toy and they're loving it. <laughs> So is this what you guys do? Read Pet Ruby and watch the puppies? You don't need to watch TV or anything? <laughs> Look at them. Very well socialized. Well, you know, people that don't raise their litters in the house and spend tons of time with them, you can tell. Like when you pick a puppy up and it acts scared, you can tell that versus a puppy that's been spoiled, you know? And socialize with they the bigger dogs. Dog. See, I'm sitting over here, so they all pile up near me. They're around other dogs, big dogs, little dogs, cats. Yeah, kids, cats, all that, all that matters. It really does at oh, this yeah. early age of life. And each one we hold and give attention to. Yeah, I mean, you can tell. You can tell when you, weird little names. when you go above and beyond. They have nicknames, the names the customers are giving them. I mean, look at Ruby. She's just loving getting pet. I can't wait for these uh, Ruby pups that are going to be next. Oh, Ruby, I can't wait. <laughs> I love that dog. I love the way Ruby... 
Yeah, the way she is built is just awesome. She's just tight muscled. Good girl. I mean, has all the little things. Good girl. My favorite part about the way she moves. Yeah, the way she moves. She walks like a real AKC show dog. Ruby would do amazing in an AKC show ring. She really would. But that's the thing. When you start getting into the shows and the show ring, you got to have a lot of free time to travel and to go every weekend and spend the whole day there. It becomes a big, a big ordeal. But she would kill it. She would kill it. Look at these little pups looking good. So hopefully that sums up, you know, the way we think about pricing. It's all on the build. I could care less about the color. We don't charge more for certain colors or carrying certain colors. And I think it's all about doing your research on the breeder, on the dogs they have, on the dogs they've produced, and getting a deposit in early with someone you trust. Because, you know, if it's that quality, by the time it's six or seven weeks old, it's gonna already be sold to someone, you know? Or the price is gonna be crazy high. So I think it's, you know, that's the way we do it. That's the reason we do it. <laughs> Look at little bobblehead. He's going to uh, Arkansas. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he's cool. He's like a little brick. He's really compact. Yeah. We got some real, you know, Diego produces thick bones and short backs, which are two of the features I really love. And uh, we really got those nice. Got those nice. So hopefully you guys like seeing them. We'll keep the updates coming. And when we breed uh, little Ruby here, uh, I'm going to definitely get some video of uh, Ruby. <laughs> Look at her face. I'll definitely get some video of Ruby with the stud we use. Ah, uh, they look good together. It's gonna I'm be crazy. Up. I know Ruby, man. Ruby's an impressive little female. She oh, is. Come on, get your ears up. She's a bad little bull. So stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. We appreciate you.